I did was my 2010 Harley Davidson Road Glide Special. All right, stay tuned. All right, so the first upgrade I had to do since uh, it's the second year of owning this bike, I had to touch up the paint a little bit, touch it up on the pipes, uh, touch it up around the uh, dashboard and stuff. Nothing really major. Um, as you can see, I added LED lights, I added these front spikes. These front spikes actually are for the helmet, but I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I think this will look fucking hot over covering over my wheel. Now, the spikes itself is all black. You have to buy these reflectors separately. So, <laughs> I didn't read the fine print when I first got it. So, you know, maybe you might make the same mistake, but uh, I got it off of Amazon. Um, I think it adds a really good look. I really love the LEDs. I work at night, so it makes it easier for cars to see me, and especially if I'm, you know, I'm in a bike club, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm traveling across country or something, and you know, not every state have lights everywhere, you know, it makes it easier for cars to see me. Now, these front um, spikes, like I said, I had to add these reflectors, added the, the red ones, because it's kind of hard to show right now, but when the light hit it, it looks like flames. It's really fucking lit. I'm going to insert a picture right here and show you exactly how it looks, you know, when the light hits it. So this is the bike at night. So you can see the LEDs more, you know, it's just more popping right now. I'm really feeling this blue. Um, it's just like, I don't know, it just stands out so much. Gives my bike that fresh brand new feel brand new look to it and it's really noticeable which is a very very important thing because you want cars you know especially to see you at night when you're driving you know because you know even though it's a harley it's loud as fuck for some reason you know not every car hear you see you you know you want to make it a little bit easier but besides the safety issue it just gives it such a hot look it, it just you know, it takes a it, it takes away from the stigma of Harley's being, you know, an old man bike. You know, it gives it that young look that you know, uh, any age can ride it. And I'm just really feeling it. So, you know, this is the upgrades that I did so far, and I think it's a really good touch. All right, so that's what we did so far. Next on the project is um, I want to make these speakers bigger. So they're probably gonna have to cut the hole bigger, maybe or. Whatever they do, they, they, they need to do. Um, definitely want a lot of sound coming from here. Or maybe I might just keep these and add. You know what? I think I will. Because they're not blown or nothing. Keep these. And I'm going to add some bass speakers down here in this section. Um, with that, uh, the name of that cover escapes me. But, you know, with the cover and everything. Which is cool for when I'm going like over 100 or whatever. I get the wind and the G forces. Sometimes we can, you know, give my leg a little workout. <laughs> but I gotta fight it to keep my uh, foot up. Um, so that that would be a help, you know. The radio is still a stock radio that it comes with. It doesn't have no Bluetooth. Um, if I want to connect my phone, I gotta connect it to the wire port. So that sucks. <laughs> so definitely want to replace the radio. One of my brothers has this radio that when he turns it on it looks like this but when he turns it on the screen actually comes out comes up and it, it looks like a, a, a tablet that's freaking yeah that's, that's hot you know, you know, something like that this way they don't have to remodel the whole face for because then we get into them expensive ass price tags um yeah, i think that's it i want to do up here and down there so that would definitely improve the sound a whole lot. Um, the sound as it is is cool for inner city, but when you're on the highway and you know all that traffic and everything, and everyone else playing their music, sometimes it gets a little dwarfed. You know, I don't like that. So definitely increase the sound. Now, you get back here and get up. <laughs> so when you get over here now. What I'm gonna do is put a bass speaker in my trunk. That really gonna like, oh, this is beautiful, look at that. <laughs> That's really gonna, you know, enhance the sound. So, eventually, to be surrounded by 
music, uh, that's going to be a definite improvement on uh, sound quality as well as, you know, bass. It's going to be hot. I kind of still want to be painting my bike. Um, I want a glossy black. I'm not sure. Um, the I couldn't think of the, the, the color. The matte black actually grew me. I know. After two years, it grew me, right? Yeah. I don't know. I was going to be painting from the beginning, but everyone was like, nah, the matte, the matte black is high. Da, da, da. And, um, you know, just like I put up some pictures of my bike in the lineup, it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more being matte black. So, I think I might, but uh, I don't know. I'm still, I really love glossy, and that glossy black is really sexy to me. Um, so, I'm going to slowly enhance everything. Probably, you know, build up all the speaker systems and everything slowly. And then once I have everything all at once, then I'll bring it down to the mechanic and have them throw everything in. Having no Bluetooth in my radio really sucks. And um, sometimes I don't want to connect the cord or if the cord is not in right away or if there's a uh, loose wire in the cord because what I have right, the cord I have right now is just messed up. And, got messed up so I can't even use it so I gotta get a new one yeah it's nothing like you know just having a bluetooth already in your radio so that'll be the, the very very next thing I get um, hopefully it'll be a, as simple as a plug and play if not you know I have the uh, mechanic or whatever and you know just fold it in and then like I said once I get all the speakers and everything I'll um, get them all together and then have the mechanic install all the speaker system all at once but the radio yeah that <laughs> that needs a drastic upgrade immediately now as far as um putting any more skulls on here or spikes or whatever i'm not quite sure yet um i kind of want to add a, a, some spikes going around the, the back of her um you know the the, f the flames in the front is awesome so thinking you know in uh, the back right here maybe uh maybe some more spikes i'm not sure um or i don't know i'm, I'm gonna think of something i wanna i like keeping my bike original looking and uh gothic as fuck <laughs> so you know we'll stay tuned for that as i you know think of other ways of goth her out eventually slowly i want my bike similar to um rick ross bike how he has it set up uh put some pictures up right there um i, I don't I, I ain't gonna lie i'm not gonna throw in a whole bunch of money like that to remodel the whole body but as far as the way the, the speaker system is set up and how he has it y'all fucking love it yo definitely yo. Um, i tried having the, the music come into my bluetooth uh uh helmet i don't know english is the second language all of a sudden to me <laughs> but it's going to sound weird but when you have the music blasting in your helmet you can't really hear what's going on around you versus when you have the music blasting your bike yes the bike is mad loud but you still hear what's going on around you like horn beepings and stuff like that so you know plus <laughs> you know you, you bob into your music no one else hears it you know and sometimes it just looks like you humming to yourself i don't know this looks weird this is what i'm told you know because they can't hear the music in your helmet so you know i don't want people thinking i'm crazy on my bike <laughs> i mean i am crazy but they don't need to know that <laughs> so yeah well you know especially you know you 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 have your shorty behind you or whatever you know you don't want to be selfish and just have the music in your helmet you know you want to you want them to be able to hear it too you know what i'm saying but um listen i want to give a special thanks to um, all my followers that stay true to the channel. Um, you know, share with your friends and everything. And thank you to uh, one of my subscribers. Like, every time I put a video up, like, I, whatever how long the video is, as soon as it, they finish watching, they put a like on it. And I noticed that immediately. Thank you. Make yourself known. Leave a comment underneath, um, you know, that you did that. You know, let me know who you are. Because, you know, I really, really, really appreciate that, for real. And um, the rest of y'all, yeah, you should definitely follow suit. Hit that bell icon so that every time I upload a video, you know, you'll get notified. I'm going to do my best now that we're back in bike season to at least put up a video at least once a week. 
I'm not sure what day, but I will put up a video once a week. So hit that bell icon so that when I do put up a video, you'll be notified and you can watch it and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to invest in a new GoPro because the one I have is not recording sound good. And um, set up somewhere on my bike <laughs> or my helmet. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but uh, I will be recording the ride outs that we're doing and, and uh, you know, my club. You know, we're going to do some big things this summer. So stay tuned to a lot of cool entertainment videos coming from Brooklyn, New York. All right. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you in the next one. Deuces. So next episode, I'm going to be taking my son bike to the repair shop. Stay tuned.